we are continuing along the fence line here um, within the tree line digging up what we can and moving it to the tree farm and I stumbled upon these little guys and I honestly had no idea what they were I knew that they were something in the Burberry family uh, you can tell by the holly style leaves but they're rounded at the tips and that kind of confused me a little bit so I did look it up um, I have a, a plant net app and I found out that these are actually uh, Berberia aquifolium and the common name is Oregon grape and of course that is the state flower of Oregon apparently they get these nice yellow blooms and they turn into a grape like berry which you can make into jam or jelly or something like that. It's supposed to be really good and it is actually the natives of the Pacific Northwest where this is a native plant. Um, used it a lot for that kind of thing for jams and jellies. Now another interesting thing about the Berberia aquaforium, aquafolium, sorry, is that um, the roots are medicinal. They can actually be used for indigestion um, they help with the digestive process and everything so that's another kind of interesting thing you can actually buy a supplement of this plant we just happen to have some random invasive little buggers cruising around in here so I was thinking these would be cool for a bonsai project and see if we can make make them uh, flower and get berries that'd be really fun so I'm gonna try to dig these guys up and again one hander we're rolling with one hand today. That is going to be difficult, huh? Bringing out the big shovel right now because I don't know anything about this root system, but we're going to discover it together. It looks like it's all one. Can't there? Let me see if I can get on the fence. Oh yeah, that's definitely good and loose. So now we can get in here a little better and see what we got what we're working with here. So these are the roots of the Berberia aquafolium. Uh, very nice feeder root system on this one, actually. And this is the one that was next to it. It looked like it was mostly dead, but this, this is actually a live shoot that died off at the end. So we will just return that one to its little spot and take this guy. That's a nice... Nice uh, bare root plant. We'll put him, we're gonna plant him in this little pot here that I just randomly found. Um, and we'll get these two out of here too. Yeah, these are definitely, this ground is so nice and loose back here from just years of these pine droppings and and bark and all that stuff breaking down has made this soil absolutely beautiful for digging. And yes, I do know I'm not barefoot today. Normally I'm digging barefoot, but today gotta wear some shoes. It's getting a little chilly out. All right, so those loosen up nicely. Grab this one here first. Oh, that's a nice root system. Look at that. That's going to be great. All these nice feeder roots on the bottom, too. Beautiful little plant. Let's see if this guy's coming. He is, and that is... Doesn't get more bare root than that. We're going to put some... Uh, we'll open up a wound on here and put in some root stimulant to uh, to get that going. So here's our, our three Oregon grapes that we pulled out today beautiful little trees I love the the bark on these are nice too these will make for a really nice bonsai project uh, maybe I'll make a little Oregon tree forest out of these guys that'd be fun we're back here at the planning table here at the tree farm oh and by the way I found another pig nut hickory so this is the one from the previous video and then this is another one that I found today 
So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out. There might be more in here. I, like I said, we don't have hickories in this area, and especially not pignut hickories. Those are native to um, like the Midwest, Chicago, Ohio area. So that's, um, that's odd. But anyways, back to these guys. So this is our Oregon grape. And you can see after I shave this off, I tried to do it with one hand, but it didn't work with the trowel over here. But after I shaved off the bark, you can see that bright yellow. That is the medicinal part of the tree. That's what would be shaved down and smashed into a chewable, edible piece and turned into a digestive aid by the native people of the Northwest. So I'm just gonna take that and cover that area in rooting hormone and get that in the ground. Pack it in nice. Oop, there you go. Pack that in nice and good. And get it so the leaves are not going to be hitting anything else. And get it with some water. And call this a day. So it's been a good day. We uh, found another pignut hickory and excavated a medicinal plant. It's invasive here, but it's not going to leave this pot. So we're good to go. We actually saved the world by taking another invasive species out of the uh, out of the environment here. Uh, but this one is going to be a keeper in the pod. So I really like them. I love these. The bark is so cool on these. Just a rough looking tree. Very cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and stay green.